Hello Adventures, in this video, I am going to show you one more new way to send App Inventor data to the Google Sheet. So I will show you a step by step. So first of all, we will create one new project. So let's start a new project and my project name is Send Data Google Sheet. Okay. So that's my screen here and I'm going to use here one vertical arrangement, simple. Make this height and width is fill parent like this and change that background color to something like this and click on user interface and drag and drop your two text box. You can use multiple text box, but I'm going to use your two text box and one button. Now let's click on that vertical arrangement and make this thing in a center. Like now, click on that button and just change that text to send data and change that button, design something like that, or uh, change that text color to white, or make this 180, something like that. Now, that's the button, and we have two text box, so I will make that uh, the width is around 70% to the both, like 70% first one, and the second one is also 70% with this 70% like this and make sure we need some space between both fields so I will use one text box here and again I need one more level to make some space here I can change that uh, background color of that button cool like this now we need to just use one more level to just say enter data okay something like that whatever you want to add here you can add like this and just use one label to make some space i think we need something uh, some component to make some space in this and we need uh, i think we need this feature in the app inventor or we can have one margin or padding option in the component this is really important feature for app inventor and now let's change that text color to white Cool. enter data and in the first I will just say the name and the second one is just say the email like this cool so that's our app here now go to the Google seat open your Google seat docs.google.com slash spreadsheet now we need to create one Google spreadsheet so click on blank and change that seat name to something like get app inventor data we just need to create one google form here so click on that tool and see create a new form click on that now we need to create here one two fields okay because we have added here two fields so you just say the name and make this one in a short answer and let's click on plus to create another one is something email and make this one also short answer simple now in the right side you will see here in the top corner three dot click on that click on the get prefilled link click on that and now we need to enter the suppose Radha first name and the second is Krishna you can put any name okay because we are just adding that name to get the link okay because we have to use that link in the app inventor click on get link now in the bottom you will find the copy link option copy that and go to the app inventor seat here and paste that link anywhere in that link we'll we will get the end points okay so what's the end point so here you can see the end point is we have is that entry point 165 that's the value we have to submit in the first form and that's the second so what i need to do i need to change that link something so here you can see that's the link in the view form we need to change that so in the view form we need to just delete that and we need to write form form response r e s p o n s e okay and one more thing because we have to submit that data also question mark okay just put one more question mark here and write ampersand and then s u b m i t submit and then equal and a capital s u b m i t it's simple now what i can do i just copy that whole link and let me just try in the incognito it's working or not and just submit that okay get app metadata data your response has been recorded let me just check it's working or not reset yes 
got it now what i need to do i have that link okay that one link i will copy that link okay so how can i copy that i need to copy that link from the first till the equal sign here you can see submit question mark and the entry and the equal you need to copy that till equal copy till equal and just copy this go to the mit app inventor go to the blog whenever someone click on that button one okay go to the design we need one more component that is web viewer you can add it anywhere and just visible off make it visible off like this go to the blog and you'll find here the option of click on web view and you will see the option go to the url hey saying go to the url this one call this okay and in the text click on text and you will find the join drag and drop it here click on text and drag and drop it here and just paste that link till equal okay now that's your first point now we need to add that here one text box one dot text so in the text box one dot text like this now click on setting and add two more strings like this and we need to add one more text here and here what we will do he will find the second see there are this is a response and he can see the end like this and the entry dot and that point till equal till before the krishna till equal and just go here and paste this here like this now just copy and paste that uh, text box two dot text here okay so we have two things now go to the design let me just uh, run the emulator so that's our app here now let's put some name suppose harry and the email is harry at the rate gmail.com and then just click on send data simple now go to here and see harry harry at the rate gmail cool so that's the really amazing and very easy way to send your app inventor data to the google sheet you can add multiple fields here you need to just change you need to just change the endpoints that is called endpoints so whenever you click on the get link data here okay so whenever you get the link so you will find multiple entries name okay so you just need to do simply and percent entity data and equal and text box uh, three value something like that so if you need any help on that so just comment in the video i'll try my best to solve the problem thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye